How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of FTB Infinity Vault here in, uh, well, Minecraft. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you guys have, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button if you haven't already. And consider subscribing. This really does help out the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns for me, leave those down below. And let's get right into today's episode. So, uh, sorry for kind of the delayed Minecraft uh, stuff recently. But that's only because what I've been working on is trying to get the bees... It is a pain in, um, well, it, it's, it's a pain. I'm trying to go through to get the Infinity B is just, it's annoying. Only because I have quite a few bees, and I've started to kind of build, like, a bee wall uh, for us to use to basically try to get to where we need to. Now I have the Charmed Bees, I have the Charmed Princess, and the Charmed Drone. Um, so right now I'm working on getting Eldritch, which I need to then get uh, Enchanted, and then uh, Supernatural, and then some, some other things. It's, it's slow going. Uh, now we have a Cultivated Princess. Crud. I think we... I see we have the Eldridge drone, but I don't see anything yeah, I turned into a cultivated. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I mean, going through this is such a pain. Um, let's see. Still rocky. Waiting for that rocky queen to turn into a. What should I call it? But I figure while we wait for bees to do their thing. Um, we should continue on our magic quest. Or kind of progress more through the magic y stuff. So I'm thinking it's tea time. Let's make a kettle. Um I also want to do the moonshine and sunshine. And then maybe start the blood altar. Blood for the blood god? Skulls for the skull throne? Just saying. Alright, so in order to make a kettle, uh, okay, we're going to need a couple things. Let's see, do we have anything? We have nothing. Okay, let's make ourselves two of those. Uh, string, we only have two. Uh, we need three string, how nice. Okay, um... Let's see, I don't think there's anything we can quickly get. Uh, let's see. Not that. Matt. Matic. Let's go quickly. Ah! Go quickly plant some crops. That, uh, so hoeing it this much allows you to put water in it from AgriCraft, which is nice because that's what you need for if you're doing, um, whatchamacallit over there, the, uh, like water plants like that, so like the water artichoke. I'm gonna just go to and get some cotton planted. I'm almost wondering if we should build a harvester and automate this. Or a planter, I think's what it's called. I'd have to look. Oh, yeah, we'll do that much for now. So we have some in the future, but in the meantime, how can we get string? Blacks, a wool gin, draw plate. Oh, good lord. That seems a lot more work than it's worth. Okay, how else can we get string? Hemp fiber, cotton, wool, and a macerator. We would need an alchemy catalyst, a pulverizer, a sag mill. Okay, well, we have several means of doing that, so let's see. Do we have any wool? We do. 
Okay, so let's just throw it in the pulverizer then. Awesome. So we need three, I believe. Or we need to eat some food. We're definitely getting close to the end. Um, I haven't really decided just yet what uh what will mark the end of the series because there's not really a definitive ending in this. Um, which is one thing like I dislike about Minecraft. Like I know it's okay. We're gonna have to move this mana spreader because trying to do this is a pain. Come on, come on. There we go. Um. But yeah, that's, what, that's one thing I dislike about Minecraft, is there's no definitive end. And so you basically just play how you want, which is fine. But everybody's end to their series or campaign or however, however you want to look at it is going to be different, right? So somebody might look at every single mod and, and do that and see that as complete. So we need a whiff of magic, so I need a Rowan Sapling. Um, a mana diamond and a lava bucket. Okay, well, we have the mana diamond. Uh, okay. Bucket. Okay, let's go over it. Oh, past it. Let's go in here. Let's go here. Go here. Yeah. Let's head here, grab a bucket of lava, and back here. But anyway, I, I'm probably going to say the end is going to be shortly after finishing the Chaos Islands. Um, we'll probably do a couple of those. I also want to get bees, and th there are a few more mods I want to explore in here. And I also want to complete the quest book and like all the little... Uh, quest so we'll probably do a uh not a, s a whole episode of that but we'll probably do like a finishing up or tidying up the base type thing all right so now we have a kettle yay i believe we just need to put it over some nether racks let me grab some of that the reason we got this is just so we can continue on our thumbcraft journey we don't need it just yet, but we are going to need it for some Thomcraft things um, and to get the Void Metal. So I'm also going to do... You know, let's just do this. Interesting. Okay. Go like that. Make it look somewhat appealing. And then... Yeah, I'll just remove that block there so the way we can go like that or like that. Cool. All right, now let's go ahead and look at the moonshine and sunshine. So we want to make a distillery, which is something I know we've been wanting. Um... There are a couple recipes. I can't remember what we needed them for. Let's see. We should be able to make this. A viz filter. Silverwood planks. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that made. Because I haven't done a whole lot of Thomcraft crafting. So we need silver. Oh, we don't have any silver wood. All right, well, I'm gonna go hunt for a silver wood tree and I will be back. Okay, and we're back. So I went ahead and hunted down some nodes. Oh, wrong thing, that. So now we have viz filters. I don't need that. Stay there, okay. 
And then... Oh, what was the other thing we needed? Okay, I don't think we have everything for this last thing. Oh, oh, we actually did it. Okay, so we have an arcane. Okay, so let's throw that in there. So now we need odor of purity, whiff of magic. Actually, but I need two whiffs of magic. Um, so we need rowan saplings. I need two of those. And then I need ooh. This is a good thing. I got this sapling when I did, but I do need to get more of it. So let's go outside. Plop it down. Chop it down. Just so we can get a few saplings. Just so we have them. And then I'll leave a tree up just in case. Alright, we only need one. Chuck them away, chuck them away. Actually kinda like that wood. Might have to incorporate it into some build. Okay, dig that out. Keep those whiffs of magic on us. And then I notice we need a tune, so we need another mana diamond. So we need a bucket. Diamond. Uh, we need mana of steel as well. We don't know if we have a... Looks like we have a bunch. That's good. Hmm, did not give me the thing I needed or wanted, rather. Maybe I didn't put it in. That could be the case. Let's see. Might be a chance to make it? Yeah, I, I don't think it matters the wood. Is it a low chance of us getting? Hawthorn sapling. Hmm. That should be giving us what we need. Oh, okay, there we go. Just looks like it's a low chance. Okay, let's grab the bucket of lava. I love having lava on tap. It really makes life a breeze. So let's go Lava, Mana Diamond, Whiff of Magic. That gives us the Attuned Stone. And bam, we have ourselves a distillery. Time to distill some fine spirits. And I think all that's left now is to get ourselves this Blood Altar. Yep, there we go. Now we got ourselves a nice little... Thing. The one thing with the Blood Altar is we are going to need a separate room for that, just because, um, as the name suggests, for those of you who haven't seen what the Blood Magic does, is it results in a fairly large um, multi-block structure, so we are going to have to give it its own room. I probably will mine this room out, but not today uh, to put it in. For now, we'll, we'll just stick Blood Magic in the corner and then as we expand. Cool. So now let's make blood for the blood god. Yeah, see as it says at the largest tier, tier six, it takes 23 by 23 by nine. So it is a very, very large multi-block. Basically, if I remember correctly, the tier six altar looks kind of like a pyramid. Um, so it's not just like a flat altar either. It is, uh, the first couple tiers just expand on one plane, but then as you expand, it goes uh, multi-height as well. 
Alright, so let's see. What do we need to make one of these blood altars? Because I haven't done one in a while. So we need some arcane stone and a crucible. Okay, to make arcane stone. That doesn't make sense. Ah, okay, that makes more sense. So we're gonna need some living rock. Okay. We need another attuned stone and some more altar. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff crafted up because this is gonna take a second to get all this breath of the goddess. I think we already have a horned one. Make another attuned stone and then the alchemical furnace, because I think we're gonna have to go hunt for some more aspect dios. Right, I'll be right back. Right, and we're back. So I went ahead and checked up on our bees. Still no eldritch um princess. We need an eldritch princess. Still uh, still trying. I do have the Oblivion frame and the Soul frames just to try to get ourselves this Eldridge. It's not really working. Oh, I should also check over here. Did we get another a common drone? Let's take that out of circulation. Stuff that somewhere. Alright, well those guys are doing their thing. Let's go do our thing. So we did go ahead and get the Blood Altar made up while uh, I was waiting for some bees. So I think for now I'll just stick it there. Um, so this is basically, I believe your tier zero blood altar. There's nothing around it. It's very simple. I don't know if it's gonna have us build one. No, but now we need to go ahead and get ourselves a sacrificial orb, which is pretty much like a, uh, a reservoir for, for the life essence. So we need a sacrificial orb. Which is just a mana pearl coated in blood. Okay, how oh, how nice. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a ender pearl, and then I don't know if we can put the congealed blood back in. There we go. I'm not. I guess we're gonna find out. Right, so if I were to throw congealed blood, oh okay. Already is some blood in here. I think it's because maybe when I took damage? I don't know. I'm not really sure why there's blood in there. All I know is there is blood in there. And Minecraft gets very eerie when there's no um music playing. Oh yeah. Yay, potions of regeneration. Not gonna use them right now, but we have them. Oh, I should probably have checked in here if we had. No, we only have a drone. Okay. Anyway, um, let's see. Let's check the quest. So now that we have that done, so we can go to the world of elves. I think this is. I think, ooh, I think that will be next episode. Is going to the elves. Yeah, there's there are quite a lot of altars. To have, which I think is funny. All right, and then I think the last thing I want to look at to, in today's episode is a filing cabinet because I know somebody mentioned this about the bees. I'm not really sure what the difference is between. Oh, geez. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do that now. Uh, let's just make two filing cabinets really quick. Uh, so if I head it out and up over here, and then, I don't know, we'll just put one there. So if I took all of these bees and stuffed them... Interesting. Alright, so it looks like I can stuff drones in single-handedly. 
pretty much no problem. Okay. Rocky Princess. Okay. Yeah, the filing. I was gonna say, I suppose we could put a filing cabinet here, but the only problem is if the queen comes out, then it wouldn't go into the filing cabinet, would it? But I suppose the queen would just bounce back into the thing. I don't know, I'll have to look at a setup of that, but it looks like we should just be able to stick everything that... Cultivated, Valiant, Rocky... Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Cool. Alright, well I think that's where we're gonna call it today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, you guys don't do smash the like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. It's really doesn't help out the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and quite honestly, any helpful tips for me, especially in this long process of getting the bees to read and try to get the right outcomes, definitely let me know down below. Any and all help is greatly appreciated. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.